Hi, this is video tutorial number 7A. Uh, it's the supplemental improvement to your keyboard. Um, I realized as I was thinking about it later, I think we made a, we did a great deal on our keyboard input, but for future uses we left something out and I want to address that right now. So I'm going to go to open recent patcher and open that's what I named it, and there it is. It's gorgeous, um, but it's not perfect. So let's uh, make this thing a full screen here. Leave it locked, but take it out of presentation mode. Okay? Now, you may recall from last time we made patchers out of different parts of the project, and then we uh, ran them down to these outputs. Okay. So here's the problem. This keyboard, oops, unlock it. I'm sorry, I was wrong. This keyboard is operating in monophonic mode. And in the future, we're going to want it. I already changed mine. I was working on this. I'm sorry. You're going to want to change this right here where you see mode, display mode. You want it to be polyphonic, not monophonic. So if we make it polyphonic, and then we try, uh, let's lock it and play some keys. Here's A, D, S, D. The keys are not coming up. And the reason is that they're not receiving a zero. So here's the modific. And just you know, for those of you who don't know, when you use um, numerical inputs for MIDI, they need to be followed by a zero for a note off. So we're going to fix that right now. You almost don't need to understand this, but it's nice to be able to work with all this crazy stuff. So patcher's locked. Let's go up to patcher keyboard in. Double click on it to open it. There it is. What we've got is a key and all this stuff. And here's some more stuff here. Let's make the window a little bigger. Unlock it. Select all of these numbers and this outlet. Now push down the Option key and click on any one of these and just drag it sideways to copy it. Now we have two of them. You'll notice that this outlet changed to outlet number two. And if you look over here on our patcher, which is still inside the other patcher, there's suddenly another little black bump on there that indicates that there's another outlet here. Just for fun, I'll make another one. There's outlet three, and did you see it even happen? Look, one, two, three. We're gonna get rid of this one because we don't need it. Goodbye. Okay, back to this. So now we have two of these key inputs, but we're gonna change one of them so that we can get a zero out of this. And we're gonna call it key up. So what happens with key up, let's lock the patcher and watch what happens. I'm going to push the A and watch what happens. Over here it turns to 97 and over here it does nothing. Now I'm going to let the A up and this one comes up. Now I'll push the S down, 115 comes up over here, key up, 115 over here. So that way we know when we've let off of a piano key. When you press down on it, there it is. I'm pressing down on A. Now I've let up, and now we know the key should tell itself to stop. OK, that's all we need to do here. So let's just close this patcher and come down to the next one. It's going to need an inlet, obviously. Double click on it to open it. OK. Um, and so, here's how we're going to do it. Uh, I'll just put the little sideboard out here. There we go. Okay, first unlock your patcher, then option, click on this, drag it over here a little bit, maybe a medium amount. Okay, so this is going to be option number two. We need a little tiny bit more space up here. 
So let's move these up. There we go. Okay. This inlet is also going to go into the select object. However, what we need to happen is that when the first key down comes in, that it gets whatever velocity is stored in here. And when the key up comes in here, it gets a zero velocity. So how we're going to do that is we'll put some messages up here. We'll make one a zero and another message that is one. All right, and inlet one will just come down and whenever it gets a number, it's going to bang on that message and send out a one. And whenever anything comes in from the key up, it's going to bang on it and send out a zero. What we'll do is use one as a multiplier and zero as a multiplier so that the velocity, which is eventually coming out down here, will be multiplied by either one or zero respectively. So in order that you can actually see that happen, I'm going to put a number of boxes down here, a number of number boxes, and start moving our patch cords. Oops, got to make another one. Option, drag it over here. Here's another one. So these will show what our final, come on you, there we go. To move the patch cords, you got to get that little green diamond at the end or the red diamond at the other end. One shows the inlet, one shows the outlet. Okay, so now we need to make another object. Push new, uh, excuse me, N on your keyboard. And you want to get an asterisk, which is shift eight, space, and then you could put a one or a zero. It doesn't really matter. Don't put a decimal point. That's all. Not this time. We want to keep it an integer and make sure nothing goes wrong here. Um, so we're going to put that underneath here. And then we'll connect the bottom of this to this output. I love these crazy lines that we made the last time through here. We should probably clean those up. Okay. And then this one never gets changed, but this one is going to go through that multiplication box. And it's either going to be multiplied by one, some long patching going on here. Okay. Or it's going to get multiplied by zero. Okay, should we sit and we'll close it, uh, meaning uh, lock it, and let's just try a few keys and see if we start to get anything that makes sense. I'm going to push down on the A. We get 48 and 100. I'm going to let up on the A. Uh, something didn't happen. What could it have been? Oh, I know. Silly me. Look up here. I forgot to put a patch cord between our two new inlets. So we'll unlock this patcher and put a patch cord. We never got a zero, so all I had to do was think about where the path was broken. Okay, going back to the other patcher now, again. Let's try that out. Uh, I'm gonna push down on S this time just so, for, so we can see a change. There's 50 and 100 and I'm gonna let up. 50 and zero, awesome, D. 52 and 100, 52 and 0. My goodness, it's working almost too well. I can't stand it. Okay, I'm going to close this pat this patcher. You know, when you have a patcher inside a patcher and you close it, it just goes into here. If you click here, it'll close your main patcher. And if you do that without saving it, I'm not sure if you can or not, it's problematic. So now that we've done all that, we should be able to, it's just clearing those keys because uh, we left them triggered before. So now uh, 
Look, we can, uh, I'll pretend I'm playing chopsticks, okay? Is that, are those the right two keys? Oops. <laughs> That's what happens if you leave the patcher unlocked. Lock your patcher and then play chopsticks. You get the idea. Okay, and we have the right numbers coming out the bottom, even more surprisingly. You know, it almost... Whoops! Nearly closed the main patcher. Come on, people. Look, I've left all this junk laying around now. So, up here in keyboard translate again, let's lock this patcher down. We need one more thing that I had almost forgotten about. We have all these messages of 100 here, but we'll never be able to change them. So let's go up here, unlock the patcher, drag another one of these, option, click, drag it over here, and this is going to be our volume inlet, okay? And um, how do we want to do this here? I just wanted to remember it. I'm going to put a comment there so I can remember volume. That's it. Hello. Volume. There we go. Okay, so now I have to connect this to every single one of those. It's kind of a drag, but that's okay. To make it easier on myself, I'm just going to put a number box in here because a number box will pass the, the, the through here and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go from here until I get a blue circle. I'm going to hold the shift down and then I'm just going to do every one of these. So here we go. Bang, bang, bang. Make sure you get the blue one on the right hand side, not the left hand side. That was close. And remember to let up off the shift key. There you go. Okay, so that just looks like not so great, but if we put this over here now, I think we can live with that. Um, and then we'll just connect this down to here. Okay. There we go. Looking good. There's our little thing that tells us something's going on. Our other little doohicker that tells us something's going on. And let's lock it up and see if we can change the volume. Yeah, look, see? See all the numbers changing? A little zoom is in order here. Okay. So if you click, when a patcher is locked, if you click in here and slide upward, the number will go up. and then back down. And does anybody see the mistake that your professor just made? No? It's all good except for these last two that was supposed to be INC and DEC for the counter. And so now the counter is only going to count uh, from 46 to 46, which is no good at all. So unlock your patcher and change this to INC. Change this to D E C and don't make such crazy mistakes in the future. Maybe I should have moved these down a little bit. Oh, and the funny thing is, of course, I haven't disconnected them yet. So take this patch line and delete it. Take this patch cord, sorry, and delete it. And did we make any other crazy mistakes? Lock your patcher, make sure it works. And you'll see now, because we're multiplying by one, we get 46s, come, 46s and zeros coming out here. And that is just fine with us, because we're gonna put a volume knob on this. Okay, all right. Close that patcher. We've got our volume knob possibilities and we have our um, 
doubled input and output. Um, the only thing that I can see here is going to be when we have a frequency coming out I'm not sure what to do with the it's going to hit it twice so we need to uh, figure out a way to overcome that but in the meantime it all looks good hit save and put it away oh uh, I'm sorry before you put it away unlock it and connect this to that you remember this is our volume that's for our volume knob there we go okay super duper command save and put it away and then just for fun let's open it again and see how it looks open recent patcher there it is beautiful let's try our keys out on it dun 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 well that was certainly a pleasure I will be back in the next video hooking this up to MIDI won't that be fun see you soon bye bye